Hi guys, I, I'm Sylvie. I've got my friend Huey with me. And did you know that we have the privilege, we can use it or not, of talking to our father who is in the control center of the universe. That is just such a privilege. And sometimes we don't use it, but we should do. Now, when Jesus was on the earth, um, he lived 2,000 years ago and uh, he was crucified and he came back to life again, so he's, al he's alive today. Um, when he had his men with him, his 12 disciples, they asked him to teach them to pray and he gave them what we call the Lord's Prayer. And it goes, our Father who art in heaven. And it's, he's our Father in heaven. Now, you, you remind me if I forget bits on this one, won't you? Our Father in heaven. And um, he's our Father, he wants the best for us. And he wants us to talk to him, have, wants, have, have a good relationship with him. And uh, that is just such a privilege, um, just to, be in his presence is just so lovely um, and he's never going to die he's never going to die not like all those around us in our families they die which is very sad but Jesus isn't going to die and God is it God the Father isn't going to die either um, and um, oh yeah the next part is our Father in heaven hallowed be your name and um, Hallowed be your name means it's really special. So you don't use God's name horribly, like saying, you hear people say, oh my God, or they use Jesus' name as a swear word. And that's, that seems so awful because God is just so awesome. We don't want to treat his name as something horrible. Um, so hallowed be your name your kingdom come um yeah thanks for that Hello, your kingdom come now in heaven there's no death there's no pain there's no sickness so if you're asking god to to bring his kingdom down to earth then that's that's a really good thing you're bringing healing to people and um just joy and peace and um, yeah that's a good thing hello be thy name your kingdom come your will be done now do we do God's will um, you could ask him what the first part of the day you could ask him what he wants what yeah he wants you to do during the day and um, he'll let you know or yeah, we'll give you hints about what to do during the daytime. So, your kingdom come, your will be done. Oh yeah, on earth as it is in heaven. So, that's the same thing on earth. Or, I've read that the, the first um, early scriptures say, in earth as it is in heaven. So, in earth is like in me because, or in you, because we're part of the earth. Um, we eat produce from the earth. Adam was made from the earth, Adam and Eve. They were made from the earth, so we're earth. And when we die, we go back to the earth. And that's something to think about, that is. So in earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> ah, that's a good one. We all like eating, don't we? Give us today our daily bread. Now, if you think about it, like if you, like sometimes when I eat a banana, I think, well, God knows everything. So in the Bahamas or wherever these, the banana was, was growing, um, when it was just, just a little flower on that banana tree, <clears throat> God knew that I was going to eat that banana. And that's just mind blowing. 
it isn't it give us today our daily bread um, and yeah he feeds the whole earth give us today our daily bread well that's one isn't it um, and forgive us our trespasses or our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us and um, that's not easy we ask God to forgive us for the wrong things that we do don't we but to forgive others oh we need his help bad for that we do need his help bad because we're not we're not geared up for that we can't do it because we think oh they've done something horrible to me um, but God wants us to forgive us wants us to forgive because otherwise he won't forgive us our trespasses oh dear that's not good is it forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us oh yeah and lead us not into temptation now temptation is you're tempted to do something that's not pleasing to God and deliver us from evil yeah evil um, yeah that's bad things evil it's things of darkness whereas Jesus is um, the light of the world so things of light um, so don't go to things of darkness For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. That's the end of it. For yours is the kingdom. Because, yes, his is the kingdom. That's the, the kingdom of heaven. Yours is the kingdom, the power. And God's got ultimate power. He can do anything. Um, like he split the Red Sea. Um, he, when Jesus was on the earth, um, people were healed of all sicknesses, uh, blind people were um, given their sight back again. Yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory. So all the glory goes to him. It's not to us, because he's the one that does all these things. He just uses us as instruments to bring about his his purposes so that's uh, that's quite a thing and um, I'll just uh, um, I'll just finish by a little bit that uh, this is just such an important prayer to pray because there was a, a gentleman that um, I'd heard a story about he, his name's Ian McCormack and he he knew that he was going to die because he'd been poisoned by jellyfish and um, he was in the ambulance and um, he thought ooh if I'm gonna die I'm history where am I going because my mum believed in Jesus but I don't or but he said help God help me to pray and God reminded him of this prayer the Lord's Prayer and he said it in the ambulance and he said it this time from his heart, not just going, Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, like that. And not even thinking about it, he said it from his heart. And do you know, he did die. Um, he went to hell. He said that was absolutely awful, awful place. Um, he was only there for seconds. But he said to himself, I said that prayer. And Jesus came and took him out of that awful place and took him into the throne room of God so this prayer is just so 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 important so remember that uh, try to remember the Lord's Prayer because it is just so such a good prayer and Jesus taught it because he knew what was best for us <laughs> yeah I will say a prayer I won't say the Lord's Prayer I'll say a prayer Heavenly Father we just thank you that Jesus came and taught his disciples to pray and we have record of what Jesus taught his disciples and we can learn how to pray from this prayer and we just thank you. Amen. Hi guys this is Sylvia at Busy Art and this is my craft for today. 
and it's it's actually a Lord's Prayer and it's our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come and then you open it up and then you've got the world and God's glory in there as well and this is how you make it you can get this on the, the template on the website um, and I'll this is how it, it works so you've got your globe here and the glory of the Lord there <clears throat> so I'll just put this down here with Jiffy I'll put it down with that one <clears throat> oh dear okay Oops. so you've got your photocopy bit off the template and here it is um, so I'll fold it down the dotted line there and the dotted line there so that will go across there and then fold it down this dotted line here and then before I <clears throat> put it together as a little book I cut down these hard lines of the triangles and that one <clears throat> then fold over on the dotted line like that and give it a, a double fold so that it's nice and flexible and this one fold that one over and this one like that and then I can open it up these are going to blow away if I'm not careful <clears throat> I can open it up like this so they pop up those ones pop up okay so I've put that one on the right side the glory bit for yours is the kingdom and the power and the and you put the glory down now this glory it the double sided sticky tape is here get that up there you are <clears throat> now this needs to go up to the folded line down here but it's not this end bit that's going to stick on it's this piece here that's going to stick to the triangle so that other piece is going to lie flat on the artwork so you need to get it like that on the outside of the triangle and then fold it over so that one should sit down like that I suppose you could stick that oh, I have stuck that down you could put some double sided sticky tape here which I shall do just to secure it just a little bit Down here, I'll put it on the centre one. <clears throat> that, that should secure it. Come on, tape. There you go. Right. So that was secure like that. Okay, that's that one. And then I need to get the glow. Ah, here it is. Now this one <clears throat> is stuck on here. I've stuck that down too. Yes, I have. Yeah. So if I put this sticky tape, take, take this piece off on this top one, the double sided. Yeah. So get the world the right way up <clears throat> and then I stick that one down there on the line and then against the fold line and push that down 
Okay. Now, if I put at least a little piece of double sided sticky tape on the piece, this piece of the world, that will hold that one down. Put it around my way so I can see what I'm doing and there. Okay. So flatten that one down. There you go. Da -da. Hope you enjoyed that. Um most important thing is that you remember it and you can say it from your heart and not just rant it off. Hope you enjoyed that. God bless, see you next time.